Hi, um, I'm John Cook. I'm a, a research fellow in climate communication at the Global Change Institute at the University of Queensland in Australia. And I also run the website Skeptical Science. Now, over the last year, the Skeptical Science team has been working on a research project which was just published today in the peer-reviewed journal Environmental Research Letters. What the paper found was that in published climate papers that state a position on human-caused global warming, there's a 97% consensus that humans are causing global warming. We found that the consensus formed in the early 1990s and that the consensus has been getting stronger ever since. The seminal work on measuring the consensus in climate research was done in 2004 by Naomi Arezquez. She didn't find a single paper that rejected the human-caused global warming. So we added another decade to the analysis and that increased the, the number of papers from 3,000 papers to 12,000 papers. So people who say that, uh, that peer review or there must be some conspiracy to keep uh, climate deniers out of the peer-reviewed literature, that is one hell of a conspiracy. 2,000 journals across the, across the whole planet. That, that would put the moon landing is faked conspiracy theory. Um, it's like an amateur cons conspiracy compared to the scale involved here. 10,000 scientists uh, published climate papers that were endorsing human-caused global warming. And these 10,000 scientists were from a, at least 70 different countries. The average layperson on the street thinks that, that it's still a 50-50 debate. So this consensus gap is, is a big problem because if there's a consensus gap, that's that's preventing meaningful climate action. Well, all people need to understand is that 97 out of 100 climate scientists agree. All they need to know is that one number, 